This script solves a unique problem. With Basecamp, I get a special email for every new project and I want to create a contact card for that. So I can just forward emails related to that project to that magic email and then it'll get automatically saved to my Basecamp project. But going into the Contacts app and creating a new contact every time is just a pain in the neck. So I wanted to simplify that. Now, Keyboard Maestro does not give you tools to manage contacts, but it does give you Apple Script. So with a little bit of Apple Scripting, I was able to solve this problem. Just to walk through this script, uh, the very first thing that you do is you ask user input, and that is just what's the name of the project. And I'm assigning a name to this called project name. So that's the variable name is project name. Um, and then I'm also going to set a variable um, based on the system clipboard. And I'll explain that in a second. Uh, the, the two things this script is going to use is going to use the project name and the email from the clipboard. But with Apple Script, getting the clipboard out of Keyboard Maestro into Apple Script required assigning it to a variable. So I've got two variables. One is project name and one is forward email. And forward email is just the system clipboard. And I talked about the system clipboard in a separate video. And then we just execute the Apple Script. Um, the first thing you need to do is tell Apple Script what the variable names are and retrieve them in essence from Keyboard Maestro. And if you're going to make Apple scripts using Keyboard Maestro, this is an action you use quite often. So I'm setting project name without, uh, actually P-R-O-J name uh, is the variable in Apple script to getting the variable project name, which is this variable we just took out of Keyboard Maestro. And then the next thing I'm going to do is magic email. That's a new variable in Apple script from the forward email that I just assigned here. So I've put those two variables into the Apple script. And then I'm going to do a couple quick actions here in Apple Script. It's pretty easy to make a new contact. You set the person to make a new person with properties organization. And then we're putting in the uh, project name or proj name a variable there that we just re received here. Interestingly, when you only put an organization name, it checks the box to make it an organization in the contact card, which is exactly what I want. And then I'm going to add an email to that. And the email is going to use the label of Basecamp because I want the label of the email to be Basecamp with the value of the magic email address that we just got right here. And then the last thing I do is I add them to a group in contacts called Basecamp filings. As contact cards go, it's pretty simple. It's only really three things, a name, an email address, and put it into Basecamp filings. But all this happens immediately with this Apple script and saves me all the trouble of jumping through the hoops in Apple Contacts whenever I create a new card. I'll go ahead and uh, put this in the Keyboard Maestro field guide so you can download the, the script itself and also put the Apple script file in there as well. I'm going to also post this to YouTube, but if you're watching on YouTube and you're interested in Keyboard Maestro, I've got a great field guide on this with hours and hours of content. Uh, I'm going to put a discount code up if you use it. It's going to be uh, KM May. 2020 and uh, just like I have it here on the screen and till the end of May, you'll be able to get $5 off the keyboard Maestro field guide. Hope that helps and hope you enjoy.